Mama Guru, I'm Jax. Today we're going to take a look at the next question in our series, A New Year, a New Way. What do you devote more time to thinking about, success or failure? That's a tricky one because you can think you're thinking about success when you're actually thinking about failure. So in our written post on Steemit, I told a story of two fires, one called success and one called failure. And both are trying to rage in your mind. And you know what feeds those fires is your thoughts. So when you think about successful thoughts, and successful thoughts are where you think about your goals or you think about what you want or how positive you could be as a person, those are successful thoughts and those feed that fire. Now the other fire is the failure fire and that's the one that rages in most of us the majority of the time. That's where we think about worry, and worry is negative goal setting, where you're thinking about all the things that could go wrong, or you think the worst about yourself, or you think about the worst about other people. Those are all failure thoughts, and those have, those are the logs that you put on the fire of failure, and that causes that fire to rage out of control. With my current financial situation the way it was when I wrote this post, it was awful. <laughs> I hadn't been that stressed about finances <clears throat> in a couple of years and it was very difficult. I had bought a new house. I was looking at my future and it was bleak. My unemployment benefits were running out and constant thoughts in my mind would go, what happens if I don't get a job? What happens if I have no more money and we use up our savings? What do we do? Um, uh, I, I, I'm very responsible and feel that I need to contribute my part and I could lose everything. And the story of the fires came to my mind and I realized is that worry and concentrating on what you don't want is the primary fuel for that fire. I was given the, the opportunity, a blessing actually, to have a manifestation of that fire and my thought process come into my my reality here. I was heading out of the house to go into my car and drive somewhere when just as I was entering my car I looked down the street and just down the street over there on the corner was a man struggling with some bags and I thought well maybe he's just shopping or grocery shopping or etc carrying stuff home and then I took a closer look and he wasn't dressed very warmly and in one hand was a bag holding a sleeping bag and the other was with some random items that would be considered like uh, survival items. He was not <clears throat> just a normal passerby. He was a man that was struggling with his current reality. First thing that came to me, because I'm a practical person, I thought, well, I have these cool little gadgets in the back of my car that help you carry bags better. And I thought, well, you know, if there's something that I could give him really quick, I'll do that. So I ran into the back of my car and grabbed those gadgets and carried them to him. And I asked him, I said, would this help you? Because they help carry, help you when you carry bags that they don't hurt your hands. Because if you're like me and you carry all of your grocery bags from one time at the car, from the car, you're going to have those lines where they cut off the circulation on your hands and it's just extremely painful. And his hands, he was going like this with his hands when he put the bags down on the corner. He looked me right in the eye and he said, you know what I could really use is some gloves. And I thought, well, I went back to my car and I just so I said, I don't have any um, really ones designed for cold weather, but I do have these small little ones. They you don't know, like just the ones that you pick up at a dollar store and I threw them in my car for emergency purposes. And I gave him those. Next thing you know, he goes, well, the other thing I could use is a, um, a hot meal. And I didn't have a hot meal. I was standing outside with him and when I realized that my husband and I made a huge chicken dinner the night before, we had an excessive amount of leftovers. So I ran in the house, got a bowl, heated up the food, and gave him the food, and he sat down. And he ate the meal. I took off to go do my errands that I had to do, and that was it. Driving away, this thought came into my mind of how... I was afraid of losing everything and becoming homeless and that was a fear that was just eating up inside of me. I did not want to lose um, what I had accumulated. 
and it came to my mind of what you think about most of the time you create. And here was right before me a true manifestation of what my worst fear was. He was a very pleasant man and we had talked a little bit while he was eating and then he looks at me and he goes, yeah, I'm just struggling to find a job. <laughs> like struggling to find a job. <laughs> he couldn't have been more perfect for me. <clears throat> So as the, as the song says, you put another log on the fire, it became blatantly obvious to me what fire I was feeding. Whenever I was thinking about all the worst case scenarios and anything that could happen to me, I was just pitching this stuff onto my failure fire and recreating this huge reality that was just on a one-way street to disaster. So I made a decision right then and there, a decision we all can make. That, that was not the fire I wanted to feed. And it wasn't an easy decision. It was an easy decision to make, but it wasn't necessarily an easy decision to put into action. But whenever a thought or a worry came up, I would sit there and I would really focus on what I wanted because my reality right now was awful and it was full of the stuff that I didn't want. And I was becoming an excellent reality creating machine of what I didn't want with all my worry and stress. So I decided to take another approach. And I sat there. I want financial freedom. I want financial freedom. I wanted to be free of worry, of money. And but you can't, you have to be very careful because when you say free of worry, you're actually focusing on more worry. So I thought, well, that didn't work. I want financial freedom. And it it helped because whenever a situation came up where I felt bad, all I did was try and feel a little bit better and feel what it would feel like to be in the situation that I wanted, what I wanted, what I wanted. At the time when I wrote the question on Steam It, I didn't have a change in my reality. Well, I'm happy to say that within a couple of days after just focusing on what I wanted, a job came up for me and I have a new job. I start this week. And it happened just as quickly as that. You can call it happenstance. You can call it luck. You can call it coincidence. But I call it a direct result of changing my reality by the way I think and feeding my success fire instead of my failure fire. Join us next time for the next question in our series, Are You Gaining or Losing Self-Confidence as You Get Older? <laughs> That's another good one too. Check our description box below and you can find new and exciting ways to connect with the Common Guru. Don't forget to subscribe to our page and thanks for listening everyone. Have a great day. Bye.